Dante, he has something that none of, none of us in the band have. And he likes to show it off. You want to see it? You want to see it? Come on. What's up? I'm in St. John, Canada. I'm gonna dedicate this whole video card to Canada because Canada's f lit. Last night the show was amazing. This place is so beautiful. The air is so fresh. The weather is so nice. It's just amazing. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been on tour. It's the pre-show fit. About to go on in Toronto, the home of Rush, my favorite band of all time, the greatest band of all time. Jeremy is wearing this. Get we're, it. we're listening to Counterparts. Wait, show me your new tattoo. Dude. Dude, we're in Toronto. If you're in Toronto and you're a Rush fan, like me. Right? We're like halfway through Canada, right, Carlos? Yes. Smile for the camera because you're a hipster now. You're on YouTube. Oh, I'm a hipster. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, hipsters. Hi, hipsters. All my fans are hipsters. All and the flowers. <laughs> I got a new hair clip and I got this just, just to make Carlos happy. Pink headband. All those cute things you do with your hair every day. Oh, thank you, Poppy. I try to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, yet again, I'm back from tour. Uh, it always feels good to come home. This one was relatively manageable. It was five weeks, which is a long time, but the good news is is that, you know, we were on a bus in the States and Canada the whole time. So that, that kind of makes things comfortable and familiar and relatively easy. Not a lot of border crossings, no, not a lot of airplanes, just getting to and from LA and all that. So it was a crazy tour, a crazy five weeks tour, and I'll probably do some kind of other wrap up video. Um, but in this video, I specifically want to talk about our 10 shows in Canada because Canada was incredible. Something people don't realize about touring, and I learned this as I went, the, the tough thing about going to all these countries for such a short period of time is that it's sort of like walking past the kitchen and getting a smell of the air and then leaving. That, that's about how much of the experience you get. It's not like you get to sit down and have the five course meal. But in Canada, because we had 10 shows, we were there for two weeks. We had two or three days off. We had a day off in Montreal. We had a day off in Toronto. We had a day off in Vancouver, but we didn't really make it there in time. But still, we had a lot of time off. I got to really explore and experience Canada. And I met a bunch of people and I just loved it, man. Canada was totally the vibe. It was a great place. It's really peaceful. It's beautiful. There's different kinds of nature. It's it's affordable. It's just great. Canada was just an, an awesome experience. <laughs> Carlos in his natural habitat. I love those rocks. Oh yeah, those are great rocks, huh? Really cool rocks. Really cool rocks, dude. Yeah. I like that sign. Really cool. Yeah, yeah so deep and artsy. You get really connected oh, to nature when you climb around on rocks. Yeah. What kind of rock is that? It's a, it's a stone rock. Nice. Do you think there were dinosaurs in Canada? No. Definitely not. We're at the real Wawa. Oh, is, is, this, is this British Columbia or Manitoba? This is British Wawa. British this is uh, time for everybody to get off, eh? Let's get off the bus. How's my hair today? It's cute. Yay! It's cute. By the fucking tank in the road. Look at this thing. Dude. Tim Hortons. The shows were insane. Okay. The fans were crazy. The shows were packed. Almost all of them were sold out or close to it. Packed out shows. And I'm really grateful I had the experience because. You know, we grow up like Canada is our, our next door neighbor and it's easy to like... <laughs> we watched the South Park movie in the in the bus one night. So, you know, it's easy to just blame Canada for everything uh, in, when you don't... Uh, <laughs> when you don't go and actually get to know them. No, Canada, if you haven't seen that, you gotta see it. It's pretty funny. It was an amazing time. This is so sick! <sighs> Living it. We're living it. Living the moment of bliss. Living, living the dream right now. 
This is what, this is why we do it. This is why, because it's vacation. Once every 14, 15, 16 days on tour, on average, you get a day like this, right? Yep. Once every two weeks. Connecticut day. We had Connecticut. That was, really was that like a week ago or a week and a half? A week ago. Yeah, so look at that. What a tour we've had. We've already had two epic days. Only like four days off. I know. <laughs> I know. Montreal. One of my favorite cities I've ever been, actually. I just loved Montreal. Beautiful, diverse architecture. It felt very safe, very clean. There was, you know, lots of parks and great stores. And, you know, I just randomly like walked into this hi-fi music audio equipment store and randomly found this park in the middle of the city and walked up this huge mountain down all these trails up and down and there were all these beautiful lakes and these view of the city and it was it was just gorgeous man it was a beautiful place and it was very young and it just felt very cool there were great bars amazing restaurant i had some of the best sushi i've ever eaten in my life in montreal it was great and then the show was insane the show was packed and it was this cool double decker venue like a house of blues kind of you know standing room on the floor uh, auto, uh seats on top and it was packed it was it was absolutely insane it was an amazing show the show in Vancouver was our last show as well in uh, Canada and that show was again insane it was the same type of venue standing on the ground sitting up top and it was packed and it was great energy and I was just playing really well and very happy with my playing and it was awesome it was a great time okay the bet is a Canadian five eh? look at this scout look at this beautiful five dollar bill that is beautiful. this could be yours if you can do what? If I can walk across this pole from here, all the way to the top, all right. in. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna hold your money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the fiver. Come and get it. Come and get it, Scout. Come and get your five bucks, Scout. Right here. Right here, Scout. You are so fucked. You are so fucked. You are so fucked. No, you can't quit. No, you gotta, you gotta take another step, dog. One more step. One more step. <laughs> oh, he wants the five dollars! <coughs> I'll allow you to use that side pole. <laughs> Have you given up? Yeah, man, because if I go in, these shoes are fucked. As you can see behind me here, this is, uh, Dr. Disrespect's video game, and I'm trying to get a couple rounds in before I leave again. Because guess what? I am leaving again. Um, I am going to spend a week filming music videos with my band Flying Formation, so. Gonna be filming a shit ton of that, of course, but. Well, we had a couple really random days off where we stopped and went cool places. Like, we stopped in the middle of nowhere and it turned out we were near the Dingwall factory. So we went into, Philip and I went on a tour of the Dingwall base factory, which was amazing. That'll be a whole separate video. We had another random stop in the middle of nowhere where we just walked around and found Lake Superior. And there was this little harbor with these boats and it was just like this super cute, quaint, picturesque Lake Superior with all these mountains in the distance and I went in the water, but it was a fun experience. I'm glad I did it. All right, so we finished our extraordinarily long bus ride to Winnipeg from Toronto. It was like uh, all told it was well, definitely over 24 hours, like a 30 hour travel day. We left at one in the morning and we got here at one in the afternoon, the day after the next day. So, well, the, you know, if, we, if you leave at 1 a.m. in the morning, 24 hours later, we still had 12 hours to go. So, 35. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Whatever, do the math. I'm a musician, I'm not a, I, I'm not a lawyer anymore, I don't do numbers. 36 hours of travel. But we're in Winnipeg and this venue is so sick. I love Canada, these shows, dude. Hey. What a venue. Hey, you're on candid camera. What? How was your 36 hour travel day, Doug? It was great. 
What'd you do? Lay in the leopard print? Lay in the leopard print bathrobe, sent 20,000 emails. Almost as many uh, veggie burgers. There you go. This is a great venue, dude. Chris, any morning thoughts or I guess afternoon thoughts? I had a great day off. Great day off. I worked out constantly. Ooh. Barbells and my phone. Look at this. Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. You need your rest too. How was how was your 36 hour travel day? Uh, dude, I laughed. I cried. I was moved. Wow, you were literally moved. I was literally moved from one, <laughs> from, one from one place to another, 36 hours away. You want to sign this for me? Can I have your autograph? I will. Sorry. I will Please. sign. Autographs, look at these autographs. autographs. Look, I look at these guitars. Uh, my, my autograph sucks. I gotta make it better. This box is gonna be worth way more than normal because it has a new autograph version on it, right? So instead of being worth one cent, it'll be worth two. Yes! I knew I liked this venue. Look at this. Dumbbells. 80s. TRX bands. Squat machine. Leg. Dude, I can get a whole ass workout in here. Let's go. So there was all kinds of stuff in Canada, man. Amazing shows. Great people. Toronto was an amazing show, but got to reunite with a sort of mentor buddy, uh, Nick Johnston. He's an absolute savage guitarist and composer, brilliant. Uh, when I was in law school, I took a Skype lesson with Nick. Uh, we sort of stayed in touch over the years, you know, I, I went and saw him at a few of his shows and um, we hung out after a couple times and I'm a big fan of his, man. I had his records on my wall for, for many years and, and you know, he's, he's just an incredible, incredible player. Uh, and a wonderful dude. And we got to meet, it was so cool, man. We met up and had some snacks and some drinks and he came to the show and it was just great to see him, man. He, he's an awesome guy and, and someone who has inspired me a lot over the years. So having him come to my show is like, that was really cool. In Vancouver, I, I met uh, a guy named Spiro Ducius, who's a guitar player, amazing guy. We, we, got, we got together, we hung out for a few hours in the afternoon and after the show and he's just like super smart and engaged and and you know, focused on all doing all these things in the guitar, but just a great dude and an amazing player. And uh, he came to the show, and it was just awesome getting to know him. You know, I've seen his playing online for a while, and just been like, damn, that that dude can play. Also in Montreal, uh, oddly enough, ran into Josh Della Victoria, who I have met before. I met him at the beginning of this tour in LA, actually. So I saw him twice on this tour. He's just a wonderful guy, amazing musician, super hardworking, really smart talented, extremely artistic, incredible individual. And then Joseph and Dijar, I believe is how you pronounce his name, was also there. And I've never met him before, but of course familiar with his playing from Instagram. Both of those guys play a bossy, so, you know, being working with that company now, um, you know, I'm, I'm obviously always paying attention to who's playing and I always have been paying attention to who's playing a bossy guitar. So I've been aware of Joseph's, Joseph's playing for a couple of years now. And uh, it was just so great. You know, those guys came to the show and, and we hung out and uh, um, just amazing dudes, super nice, very accomplished musicians, you know, really have their shit together. And it was awesome to, to hang out and, and, you know, spend the Spend an afternoon and an evening with those guys. Amazing, amazing dudes, great players. Yeah, so with them, this guy on Instagram, Northern Music, came to the show. I'm blanking on his actual name right now because I just, you meet so many people, but super nice guy, right? Amazing dude, loved talking to him, loved hanging with him, great guy. Um, and he's a beast musician as well, of course, shocker, um, as I came to find out later. But dude, it turns out this guy was going to play some shows in Canada like a week later with a band called Secret Gardens as his opener or co-headliner or something. And guess who plays bass for Secret Gardens? Reese Ortenberg from Flying Formation, my homie Reese. So Reese ended up meeting this guy like a week later, uh, playing a show in Canada. That was really funny. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Poppy. Happy birthday to you. And may the anaconda stay hungry. <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, thank you. No, go <laughs> <laughs> me. I love it. Right. Thank Don't you guys. Cut it. Well, we have no show today, and we're staying in a parking lot, and in that parking lot, 
is a Best Buy. It's the Schmeg. You know what? Oh, Schmeg. What I wish we had in the bus instead of a coffee machine, one of these things. Oh, a blender so that you could stick people's face in it? But this thing, you put anything you put in it, it just comes out like liquid death. Get some help. Look at him. I love when you don't shave, Carlos. I love it. You look so tough. Arr, it's a Nintendo Switch. Oh, uh, New Zelda. I haven't played the New Zelda. They got GTA on the Switch? Damn, dude, I'm gonna have to get that. I'm doing a bad thing and buying a gaming laptop. Not here, not today, but I've been researching online. I've been checking all these out in the store, and I think I've decided I'm, I want a 4080 and 15.6 or 16 inch screen, and most likely an Asus. I'm gonna spend too much money on it, but it'll be great when we're in, on tour in Asia for three months. Julius, what'd you get? But is it RGB? It definitely is not RGB. <laughs> Look at it. What does that even mean? RGB, like the lights. The color, oh, the no. multicolored lights. No, not an RGB It is not pad. an RGB mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, man, so I mean, overall, Canada, it was just a mind-blowing experience. Um, some other fun highlights. We got McDonald's breakfast, Fire and I, and I was just like, dude, this is better than America. Like, this is noticeably different. And you have this experience when you eat at these places around the world, you know, where you go out and you eat and you experience these new, new foods and new places. Not new foods, sometimes, you know, the same food from these big companies, right? But it's still different and it's weird and it's funny because it's like, dude, this doesn't taste nearly as gross. This is like, this feels like normal food. It looks like normal food, you know? So in, a, in America, you know, we have the, the maximum salt quotient and the maximum chemical quotient and you go to these other countries and it's more reasonable, it's not satanic. Look at the anaconda. Trading. Look at it. Look at its veiny ripples. Look at the muscles of the anaconda. Searching for his next prey. Damn, that's actually really impressive how many reps he's doing. Scout said you have a bald spot. Scout! Yeah. I just told him what you said. What I said? That, you, that he has a bald spot. Who said that? Who said that? Damn, Who's Scout, you? you looking pretty though. Thanks, baby. What's going on? Shots, bro. That's look shots. at you. I just I woke up like this, man. Look at how good you look on like camera. <laughs> look at this. to go back they were great shows and amazing people so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know please like and subscribe and do all those things um support my channel because i want to keep making these videos um and when you guys do that it, it helped it really does help me it encourages me to keep going the positive feedback it encourages me to to keep going as well and i really want to start to create the feeling like there is a community of guitar people and music fans and, and people interested in this stuff and maybe not guitar people who are able to come in and like connect with my story of going from the corporate world to pursuing my passion. I think there's a there's a broader narrative there that I, I want to start weaving in more and I would like to start sharing that more with people um, as time goes on. Right now I'm really focused on my craft. I'm really focused on developing my craft, my skills, my band, my music, my 
playing so that, you know, in three or four years I have something of really high value to offer as a musician. As time goes on, I want to talk more about these other things and it would be really helpful if you guys let me know some comments like, what are some things you would like to hear about maybe from my transition from the corporate world to musician or my story of how I went from lawyer to musician. And also if there's people out there who want advice about law school about those things, I, you know, I'm open to talking about that as well. So um, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate it and thank you guys all so much. Take care, much love. All right, peace. That was one of the best shows ever. Yeah, dude. Canada. Oh, Canada. I don't know your song, but you're awesome.